Welcome back to Fabtech 2015. I am here with John Wasco, an Associate Product Manager for Engine Drives, and we are talking 300 MP, and we are talking cross-country. John, tell us a little bit about the SAE 300 MP to start off. Oh, we got two of our latest uh, cross-country pipelining machines here. The SAE 300 MP is a pure DC generator, so it, it creates a pure DC arc, which is we're the only manufacturer to actually make a pure DC generator. Um, the cool thing about this that we've talked about in previous videos is this, this maintains its arc. Constant key. Constant. So the, the, there's temperature stabilization built into this machine, something similar you would see on our Vantage products. So basically, uh, throughout a typical day, uh, ambient temperatures will cause an arc characteristics to uh, change on you throughout the day, depending on ambient temperature. So the, the, the technology that's in this machine will give you more stable arc characteristics throughout the day. And why is this a cut above the rest? Uh, it's the pure DC generator. So there, like I said, we're the only manufacturer that make that. A pure DC waveform, there is nothing pure as far as the arc characters goes that, that gives you that true arc for a pipeline uh, application. Now we have another machine here. We have the Cross Country. This mm -hmm. is a fairly new machine for us. Yep. What is the difference between the 300 MP and the Cross Country 300? So two fantastic welding machines. Uh, that being a pure DC generator, this is an AC generator that gets rectified to DC. Very good arc case, but this machine provides additional auxiliary output. So you have up to 10 kW of auxiliary output in single phase mode and 11 kW of three phase. This machine only provides 3 kW of output. So much more auxiliary output, which gives you many more options of plugging uh, you know, a travel trailer or uh, even power your whole house off of this engine drive. That's something this one can do. Now, are these both gas-powered engines? Are they diesel-powered engines, or can you get them in both? Yeah, these are both uh, diesel-powered. The Cross Country is powered by a uh, 22 horsepower uh, Kubota diesel. The SAE is powered by a 24.7 uh, horsepower three-cylinder turbo uh, Perkins diesel engine. And tell us a little bit about the Dual Vantage 700. There are a lot of things you can do with this. Yep, sure. The Dual Vantage 700 is a single or dual operator machine, so you can have one welder or two welders welding simultaneously off of one machine. So. Uh, max output is 800 amps at 43 volts at 100% duty cycle. Uh, when you're in dual mode, you, have, you can use different processes for each uh, arc. So you can stick wire weld or arc gouge off the left side up to 400 amps, and the same on the right side up to 400 amps as well. So this machine also provides 20 kW of three phase and 12 kW of single phase auxiliary output, which gives you the option of running maybe a V275 off of the auxiliary circuit and running three arcs at one time off of this engine drive. And is this gasoline or diesel? Uh, this is uh, powered by a 69 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel. Where is something like this used? Uh, it's used in a lot. General fabrication, somebody that wants to get, uh, you know, you're servicing one engine as opposed to servicing three and having three welders off of it. Um, you know, heavy duty sub art uh, processes where, uh, you know, big oil tanks are being uh, welded together with uh, a sub art process up to 650 amps. This machine's uh, adequate for that application. Well, John, thank you very much for taking a few minutes talking to us about the Dual Vantage 700. Yep. Uh, we talked a little bit about a couple other engine drives, the 300, the SAE 300 MP, as well as the Cross Country 300. If you have any questions, remember, go to www.lincolnelectric.com. Thanks for watching.